Hi, I'm Charlie O'Shields, and um, I am the founder of Doodle Wash and um, the website doodlewash.com, and I'm based in Kansas City, Missouri. I started Doodle Wash in July 2015 when my um, husband actually came home with a box of watercolors. Um, it was on a 4th of July weekend, um, so we didn't have much to do, and he started playing with the watercolors. And when I saw him do it, it just looked really fun, so I wanted to try it. And so I did, and I, I painted a tree. It was not an amazing tree. It was um, actually, it looked like a child's tree that just got painted, but I was so excited by it that I was determined that I was going to learn watercolor. I was gonna learn to sketch and I was gonna do it every single day. Well, in order to do that, I thought the best way to keep myself honest would be to start a blog. And so I started doodlewash.com initially just because I it, I was it, I'm gonna show up every day and if even one person noticed I was there, I'd have to show up the next day. And it worked. There was an onus for me to actually show up each day. And that was the real reason why I started Started and, and when I started. Doodle Wash is a, kind of a community project. It's my side project that I do. I don't really look at it as a, um, as a business that I'm trying to you know, grow as a business. I'm always just trying to grow community, um, meet new artists, and be inspired. I featured over 600 artists um, working in watercolor on Doodle Wash and um, through the wonderful WordPress tools that um, I somehow managed to figure out and add myself, um, I, I was able to add community features so I could actually share what my ultimate goal was, was I wouldn't say community because that just sounds like a, you know, like a social thing, you know, and things. What I would say is, is I built a playhouse. As Doodle Wash continued to grow and, and honestly, I kept adding more features, right? So I would keep adding, um, you know, there'd be the plugins suddenly were available. They weren't initially when I started uh, my blog on WordPress.com, but then they were available. And I picked, I picked them up. I was literally the first to sign up, I think, if not, if not like the second, because it was the second it was available, I did it. And then I started playing and trying things. And the truth is it was all experimental at the time, even work, even in the WordPress.com platform, it had just started. So um, the customer support was lovely with me through all of my like screaming and like, you know, and like, gnashing of teeth and what happened to my side even if it was something I did which it mostly was most of the time so I used very vetted plugins and stacked them and kind of have been working on that stack over and over you know and get, getting rid of some putting some back in and to make sure that I've got ones that are continually being updated ones that are really strong having all those features and having it run smoothly means that I actually get to focus on what I've always done. I still have to um, answer to the community, but that's the fun part. And I still make um, an illustration each and every day. I founded World Watercolor Month in July. That came about simply because in order to keep myself um, sketching every day, I needed some sort of theme to follow. So for months at a time, sometimes I would just uh, sketch whatever the day was, you know, like ice cream day or pretzel day. Um, and there, just name anything, there's a day for it, trust me. What they didn't have though, was anything for watercolor. There wasn't a watercolor day. Um, and then when I was gonna try to found a day, I thought that wasn't enough. So of course it was an entire month. So every July there, we all come together I say we because it's really made for the community again, um, all over the globe to um, sketch in watercolor and try to make 31 watercolors in 31 days, um, if we can. And it's all for charity. It wasn't enough for me to have a community of current artists. I wanted to make darn sure that there was gonna be future artists in the world too. So that's something I'm really passionate about is art education and making sure that we don't just have a lot of artists having fun today, but we hopefully have a future full of them. When I was a kid, you know, it's like I wanted just a fun place for everyone to come play together. Um, and that's really what I think Doodle Wash is. I think that's what it's become. It's not a business, it's a playground and it's a heck of a lot of fun.